Hello, Aries. Hope to, I'm hoping the beats aren't too loud because it's coming through my stereo instead of my computer and shit. Well, I'll turn it down. How are you guys doing? This is your October read for this current year, which is 2019. Just gonna be a six ways because they're all giving me nice quickie ones because I got shits to do. I'm always busy at my fuck job and it's exciting. I hope you all are doing well. Last time I think I read for you guys, this shit be whack, yo. It's like you're on the great hunt. Like to catch the prey or some shit like that, right? For any newcomers coming in, welcome, welcome. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. You know. It might not work. Or maybe it will. You never know. Just boop your nose and away it goes, right? If you want a personal reading, all the details are down in the description box below. Newcomers, first readings on the house. My treat. And I do welcome tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Alright, Aries, let's get started. Well, you're not looking for a fight, so that's a good thing. However, I still feel like you've got this energy of, like... You just want to sleep with somebody's boyfriend and then send him back and then ask, like, how they liked your leftovers. Like, I just feel like there's something right there. Like, maybe you were in some situation with that where you really wanted to be petty. Like, ex to the max, like, ultimate pettiness. Let's see. The situation is looking at a combination between two people. But possibly not looking at yourself with the same sort of value, I'll say. Your wants and wishes, things aren't happening. What the obstacle and challenge before you is, though, and coming against you, the lovers reverse. Possibly with a Gemini, maybe you, like, separated from somebody. But you might have done so to end all the fighting and shit, right? Your fears and rejections deals with the Prince of Swords. Reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Energy. You might not be trying to even argue. But I feel like... Without this change happening, this is going to continue and... You're going to keep wanting to end conflict, but it's like... You're stuck on it with the person. So you really don't have a choice in the matter. How this shit will come full circle? You swing in a bat around and just, like, swing away, Meryl. Pretty much. Seven of Wands. Ooh. You know. You're pretty frustrated and you're pretty unhappy. Especially since nothing's happening, but... You or somebody you're dealing with is wishing for the Eight of Wands reverse for not something not to change, right? Nine of Cups. Someone got what they wished for and they got a cheese eaten grin. Hopefully it's actually cheese though. Let's like be clear about that. Sorry. I'm thirsty like a motherfucker. Okay, so I'm gonna use the after terror deck. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just use the after tarot deck. Fuck it. I don't feel like picking up that many cards today. I'm extremely lazy. And look, you do want to delegate even after the fighting, right? Like, you want to parlay. I'm not even sure if I'm using the word parlay right, but I watched, like, Pirates of the Caribbean the other day, and it was just like, parlay. I need to look it up so I don't sound like an asshole. But it sounds fancy. I mean, with my ignorant ass. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like you don't. It's like you don't, you're afraid to have conflict or say some words with somebody. But it's like you want to end the conflict, and I feel like this isn't helping the situation. You know, things are ending with everybody being on a sour ass note, except for death, because death gets to kill everything. It's just Scorpio's going around poisoning everybody, watching them suffer, uh, not giving a shit. Well, this Empress over here just looks really bitter at that fact. Well, this guy has his back to not even giving a shit about how he puts his heart out there. 
so this is you or another person. Remember, cross watchers, switch where you need to, right? Because I have no idea who's who. I'm just the messenger. Alright, let's see. Five of one, reverse. There's like an end. There's some wanting of ending conflict because it's all been really petty. You know. You're tired of fighting this beast over and over again in your head. And you just want to go elsewhere with it, right? You are the person you're dealing with, Aries. It's like plague in your mind. That like, it's like no matter where you go, you still got this shit in your head. It's still coming at you like a, a freaking memory. Or almost like PTSD. Like you went somewhere... Got on some boats with some people. As soon as you fell asleep in the boat, you heard like, hiss, hiss, motherfucker. I'm gonna lick your face. And then you got your swords down and be like, no, I am done with this. But they got eight swords and it's floating in the air like a Mario um, villain or whatever, right? It's like you want to go so far, travel so far to slay some demon that's been on your brain for a minute. And you hate that thing a lot, I feel like. Four of Pentacles. Valuing a relationship more than oneself, I always think like. It's like you have your securities right there. You had all your shit together and nothing like... It, it's like it's someone ditched the party. It's like it was a surprise party and everyone was ready. But the person got pissed off and didn't come and they didn't know it was happening. Um, it's kind of like one of those situations where it's just like... Yeah, everything was supposed to go this way and it didn't. So, like, just give your swords up to whatever you believe in and just, like, carry on, man. Do you best your fi to fix yourself in the situation? It's like everything should have came out perfectly, but it didn't. It, but it's just, like, there's really nothing you can do. Wants and wishes, Aries, you are the person you're dealing with. Things not to change or something not to happen. That's like keeping a mask on the birdie, not letting the truth fly free. Um, Cause you value your bison friend. Could it be an earth sign too? Um, Cap Taurus Virgo. Hmm. It's like the, somebody uses the money to treat somebody like a pet. Just rubs it on their head. Like, here you go. Doesn't that feel good? Mm, yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's like, almost like lying to oneself about the situation and what it is. Obstacle and challenge before you. Lovers reverse. Possibly Gemini. Um, you or the person you're dealing with Possibly... Hold on a second. Someone feels like they saved another person and now they feel like that person is taking advantage of their kindness. You know, here it looks like this dude saving the damsel in distress. Here he looks like a servant to this person who he saved. Like they took advantage of their kindness. Maybe that's why you don't want to argue with the Prince of Swords reverse. It's like, what the fuck is there to argue? Like, this person treats you like they're, you're their pet a little bit. But it's like someone doesn't want things to change because they don't want to see the truth of actual stuff, you know? So this Prince of Swords reverse doesn't want to talk about or argue about how the relationship ended. Because they probably think that that's not a good thing to do. Could be dealing with a Libra. They might have embraced at one point in time, but now it's just... it wouldn't. I think it wouldn't be healthy or they feel like it's the wrong thing to do to try to have a discussion about the breakup or whatever. Because they think it might lead to an argument and I don't think they want to argue. However... It looks like there's gonna be, because the Seven of Wands is down below. Someone's gotta fight off some sort of attack. Just like they did in the beginning, and just like how it'll end the cycle. Why is that? They try to share their victory with another person? 
And that person just wouldn't even let them take a fucking nap in order to deal with their illness. Like, they just came in like, I got you flour. I don't really don't want a flour. It's actually going to make me sick. Here, smell it. Just shoved it right in their face. Just like, la la la. You know? Just ridiculous with it. That's insane. Once again, this person treats this individual like it's a pet. This queer, it has like... Aries, I feel like if you were to actually try to have a conversation and tell this person, you know, hey, let's try to work together, make both of us happy, they would just immediately just get on your nerves once again. I feel like they don't appreciate you or think of you the way that you think that you deserve. Or you're doing this to somebody else, but I really don't think it's you. I think you're just dealing with a whole lot of shit. But somebody got their wish. What's the ending theme? And they flopped that shit. That makes the Ten of Cups right here. But then it goes down to the Eight of Cups, which is about walking away, too. Since it's reversed. Um... Somebody flopped their fish around and like fucked up their own feelings when it came to a wish that they wanted and they got exactly what they wanted. Mm. It's crazy. Hi kitten. I'm trying to do a card reading. Of course you want up here. Why wouldn't you? I'm cross-legged right now. Alright, so what's popping up? Um, someone is looking over how everything just went down and realized that maybe it wasn't the best situation, right? So now they gotta try to create something out of all of this mess. They gotta become a magician, you know. Maybe a student, but they need to learn how to adapt their skills in order to make shit happen, right? This could easily be you, Aries. And... Someone might actually come back and apologize for some of their bullshit. What? Mmm. Aries, you might be actually looking at how this person might have manipulated this whole situation when they come back with an apology. And that might be why you're not even trying to talk to them right now, because you know it's bullshit. You know that the situation was unfair. And I get the feeling that you're not going to like their attitude when they come up to you. Like, even if they come up all nice and shit, that's just gonna piss you off even more, because it's like you expect a confrontation, and then the motherfucker won't even argue with you, and that's just gonna make you really fucking mad. It's just like, God damn it, I really wanted to uh, say some smart-ass shit to somebody today. I just wanted to get under somebody's skin, and you won't even let me have that, you son of a bitch. You know, I can see you going that route and getting that kind of mad. I really can. Like, I've known a few Aries like that. But it's like, um... You're expecting the confrontation, but at the same time, you're afraid of that confrontation and how it's going to go, so you're naturally staying away from it. It's like, even if you try to share something with this person, they just get all up in your face and don't let you, let, let you have time to yourself. Um, it's like they smother you a little bit, and that makes you really combative. It's just like, will you, will you get off of me for like two seconds? You know, but they never do, and it's just like, I don't understand why, like, I don't know, it's almost like you guys aren't used to that person, or some shit. But there's definitely something up in your brain that's just like, it, there's something that bothers you about them, too. Like, I don't know what it is, but there's something about this person where it's like they leech off of you a little bit. But that's the reading I got for you, Aries. I hope this helps a lot of you out. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, subscribe. It's all up to you. You don't have to do it, but it would definitely make me appreciate you. All right. 
I love your guys' faces, and you guys take it easy. Bye-byes.